Come on, big boy. Come on. Come on. Thank you. By that stage, he had enough meal and enough carrots, brought new reinforcements uh, that he no longer needed to be entertained. So we left him and we'll come back. We'll try and walk him up through. We're going to have to make a gap here, bring him back to the way he He was last seen right down in there behind that house. See if he's still in that vicinity. Get him out of there. Not the nicest of days. I can hear him if I can't see him. So what the big idiot is doing is he's standing on himself on that person's window because he can see his reflection. Oh, that joy. Go and see if he says hello. Hector, come on. Come on. Good boy. Come on. 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 I've got him out through the gate, heading up across the field. We'll just take him so a wee bit at a time. Hopefully, you can't follow this path here up into the other field. And uh, we'll go with the carrots in the field. this he can smell the cows smell the other bull that were in this field so I'm keeping a good distance ahead now I'm gonna go up to this other gap I've told the thumb to go this road and the lights are not keep enough far away check on me every so often because when you're on on your own animals I guess it's dangerous but it'd be a lot worse if I brought extra people get him riled and scared and then take off and annoy somebody so we'll keep going on the premise that we'll just work our way through here gradually and try and call him up come on Hector good boy good boy come on so we're up across the last field just now that we know he's nearly here We'll open up the ditch and me talking to the others will maybe encourage him to come up along. So, unfortunately, it does mean cutting this wire, but it's all stretched anyway. So, we'll stick a new piece in nicely. We'll go from there. So, our own cattle are coming to investigate, which is good because they might encourage him from this side of the fence. Just need to get him. There's nothing down in the field below him, but he keeps looking that way. The only problem is when he comes up to here, there's cattle on the other side of this ditch. Thankfully, they haven't come to investigate. But we just try and let him work his way up himself. Slowly but surely, this is always the best way. And there's the others down there. So we're hoping he just hop over here. It's a bit of a drop, but he come up. He'll figure down. Come on, Hector! Hector! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! The other cows are in there. I'm hoping they won't come. I think they're nearly a wee bit concerned as to who or what I am, so I'm hoping it'll stay that way. And he'll come this way. Come on, Hector! He doesn't particularly want to play ball. Two bulls have discovered each other through the ditch. So I've come out round and let's pick up here. A bit more security to try and shimmy them on up along the ditch to our own cattle. I hope that way we can move them on out. 
Ooh, that's rough. Ugh. Two boys are making friends. Got him out of the corner slightly. He's not needing a card or two. Give that other boy a wee bit of bait. Be standing over there. We just need to get him from here to that top corner. But well, he wants to play with my bonnet instead of move, so yeah. My mum's supposed to be coming around to stand on top of the hill and call him. Not that I think it's gonna make a hell of a difference, but hopefully it'll encourage him. The cows are up there. You just can't see them. Come on! Come on! Come on! Got him there, but he is following the bag from the whole house. I was going to just squeeze you out for a few months and then just keep him in this gap. Make him think about it, so he'll pick him up. I got them out and we're relocating them a couple of fields further away to try and discourage any mischief. So my mum's up over the hill there, calling them up into the field and put them beside her house where she can keep an eye on them. Thankfully it's all ended well. Nobody's get hurt, no animals get hurt and no bulls ended up breaking each other's neck or anything strange like that. You gotta be patient, take your time with animals. It's took, well, best part of three hours, but it's done, it's safe, nothing escaped, nobody was hurt. You just have to take your time. So, that's what happens when the bull gets out. Um, catch you in the next one.